All right, so earlier I made a video on being excited about Golden Axe getting a TV show. And a lot of people saying that it's going to be animated, which is confirmed. But one of my subscribers actually commented about the controversy surrounding this whole new TV show being a comedy on Comedy Central. And after looking through some research, I kind of agree with this person because for one, I really feel like Golden Axe is known to be a serious title because of his story with the characters and the villains. But since it's gonna be on Comedy Central, you just knew that it's gonna be having mixed results, having mixed fans. Well, people having mixed feelings on this whole thing because on one hand, I'm excited that a Sega property is getting a cartoon series. But on the other hand, another part of me that is kind of disappointed that it landed on Comedy Central. Because I would have think that it would have found its own identity by finding a certain network that handles dark TV shows like Cartoon Network or Toonami for that matter or Adult Swim, but since it's on Comedy, well, it's on Comedy Central now. I really don't know how I feel about it because I'm trying my hardest not to get angry. I'm coming at this as mature manner, but they do got some good voiceovers though. But I'll have to wait and see how all of this plays out. What the animation is going to end up looking like, or what the trailer is going to end up looking like. Because based on that title alone, it should have landed on Netflix, in my opinion. Comedy Central has handed a 10 episode order to Golden Axe, a new animated series based on a popular Sega video game. Produced by CBS Studios in association with Sony Pictures Television and Original Film. Golden Axe voice cast is led by Emmy, uh, Emmy winner Matthew Rice, The Americans, Danny Pudi. Mystic Quest, Lisa Gullery, Jury Duty, Liam McIntyre, Spartacus, and Carl Tarts, Grand Crew. Described as a hilarious and loving homage to Sega's 1989 video game series, Golden X from X producer Mike McMahon and Joe Colliner follows veteran warriors, Axe Battler, Tyrus Flair, and Julius Thunderhead. As they once again battle to save Uria from the evil giant Death, uh, Death Eater, who just won't seem to stay dead. Fortunately, this time they have the inexperienced and unprepared Hamilton squad on their side. Now, the part I don't like about this is being a comedy because Golden Axe, like I said, is known to be, well, it's known to being a serious game because of a storyline. So, the part where it says that they have the inexperience and unprepared, I mean, underprepared, that don't sound right to me as well because making it seem like these people have no experience with magic powers to defeat enemies. Like they were trained, they were taught to fight and fend for themselves. But if you play the games, they already mastered their powers. But something about this show is kind of throwing me off and I'm not feeling this so far. Riz will play Julius Thunderhead, a grumpy battle dwarf with Expeditionally poor hygiene and a chip on his shoulder. Pewdy is Hamilton Square, a native and experienced first time adventurer who has dreamed of questing his entire life. He hopes his can do attitude can make up for his inability to actually do stuff. Jewelry portrays Terrence Flair, a fearsome battle sorceress, deadly in a fight and even deadlier with her sharp wit. Mike Entire plays Axe Battler, a barbarian warrior with a strict code of honor and sweet golden retriever demeanor. 
His brawn outweighs his brains, but his heart outweighs his brawn. Trash Chronos Evil Light, originally from Golden Axe 3, is 100% badass humanoid panther. At least that's how Chronos describes himself. In reality, he's uncomfortably cheesy and can't read a room. Golden Axe is produced by CBS Eye Animation Productions, CBS Studios Animation Arm, Sony Pictures Television, and Original Film. Listen, even though I have mixed feelings on this whole thing, but the only thing I want to say is I would rather just wait and see how things go because based on this, the character substance alone, it sounds kind of iffy, you know, because I think what they're gonna do is have one of the original characters from Golden Axe 3, the Panther character, which is my favorite one as well, is gonna be in the series also. But I wanna know who is the main villain of this 10 episode series. Now that it's gonna be on Comedy Central. And I wanna know how is the trailer and the teaser and the animations are gonna end up looking if it is some looking like something that I cannot take seriously, then I don't want it. So at the end of the day, the only thing I can do is just wait and see how it plays out. But based on how all of this is sounding, it sounds kind of suspect. So link to the article will be down below.